Hi everyone, it's Dave and I'm at Outdoor Home. I'm gonna to talk to you today about grilling the perfect steak three different ways on your Big Green Egg. Now, before you get caught up in what grade of beef to buy, what type of steak you're gonna be grilling, I just want you to know that whatever you pick, it's going to be better on an egg. So whatever method you choose to grill your steak, one thing that's really gonna be important is temperature, uh, the temperature of your egg, the temperature that you want uh, for doneness on your steak. Uh, we've got five different styles of thermometers to choose from here. I personally like the Big Green Egg Instant Read Thermometer. Simplest way to grill a perfect steak on your Big Green Egg, direct grilling. Get your egg temperature set for five, 600 degrees, a little more if you want, but not necessary. Take a well-seasoned steak, put it right on that grill, shut the lid, flip it at least once. I like to use my trusty Big Green Egg Instant Read Thermometer to pull it maybe three degrees less than my desired temperature. For example, if I'm shooting for a medium, 140 to 145 degrees, I might pull it at 137 and let it rest for a few minutes and knowing that as it rests, the temperature's just gonna rise a little bit. Cut into it and enjoy, it's gonna be delicious. The second technique you might wanna consider, bringing in some cast iron accessories for your steak grilling, whether it's the cast iron cooking grid, conducts heat really well, and it's gonna give you those nice diamond grill marks for visual presentation on your steaks. Folks say nothing sears like cast iron, and you're gonna get a lot more of surface area on a hot cast iron skillet when you're searing your steaks. Get that nice crispy crust on the outside. And if you really wanna up the flavor game, put some butter, herbs, and your favorite spices in there, you're gonna have some amazing results. The third technique we're gonna talk about today, it's probably my go-to for tri-tip, and great for a thick cut steak if you've got an inch and a half, two inch thick uh, cut of beef there, is the reverse sear method. I really like it because you can get some of the smoking wood flavor in there and have the benefit of a great sear as well. Simply what you wanna do is use your convector at this time, set your egg for 250 degrees and pick your favorite smoking wood. Uh, put your steak on there. A probe thermometer certainly comes in handy as you monitor the temperature. You're gonna to wanna to pull it about 10 degrees less than your desired temperature. Remove your convector, go for maximum airflow, taking off your dual functioning metal top wide open on your bottom draft door and let your egg get fired up. I usually go about seven, 750, and you can certainly go more if you want. Again, not necessary. Uh, about a minute and a half on each side. If it's a little thinner, maybe you just go 45 to 60 seconds. It's gonna be perfect, well flavored with the smoking wood flavors, the charcoal cooking, uh, and again, a great sear at the end as well. Whatever method you choose, I hope you'll come see us at Outdoor Home, just off South Campbell on Tracker Road. Over 90 spices, rubs, seasonings, brines to choose from. Check that out. Smoking woods by the bag, by the pound, chips, chunks, logs. Uh, talk to one of the experts for tips and tricks. We'll have you growing perfect steaks in no time. At Outdoor Home, where outdoor living is always in. <music>